Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to track your weight loss progress. Now, if you're new here, my name is Shannon from Shannon Billows Fitness, and I'm here to make weight loss as simple and easy as possible. So if you're interested in those kind of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, it can be incredibly frustrating when you start your weight loss journey and you jump on the scales and you've been doing so well all week, sometimes even months, and then the scale just doesn't seem to budge. And I know what it's like because I was also in the same position as well. So I used to be overweight myself. So I was 120 kilos when I was 15 years old. And when I very first started my weight loss diet, I used to go to a Weight Watchers meetup convention where I would have to go in and weigh myself in front of 30, maybe 40 other middle-aged women with me being the only guy there. And if I didn't hit my weight target, they tell me that I need to come back and work harder next week. So to make this really simple, all you're going to need is two things, and that is going to be your weight scale and your measuring tape. Now, most of you probably are weighing yourself once, maybe twice, or even three days per week. But if you jump on the scale on a Friday, and then you jump on the scale next Friday, you can sometimes be a little bit less, sometimes the same weight, sometimes even more weight. So there's a solution that we've come up with, and I use this with all of my clients, is we want you to move over to weighing yourself every single day. Yes, I want you to weigh yourself every single morning, first thing, butt naked, on the scale, before you eat or drink anything, and preferably having gone to the toilet. So what a typical morning would look like is you would get up, have a shower, dry yourself off, butt naked, on the scale, weigh yourself, whatever your weight is that morning, you're going to write that down, and then we're going to take a weekly average. So the way this works is you're going to take seven days of weighing yourself, add them all together, and then divide it by seven, and that's going to give you your weekly average weight. Now you're going to do this every single week, and you're only going to compare your weekly average against your next week's weekly average. We don't care about the daily fluctuations at all. Now, what we're trying to aim for is a body weight loss of 0.5 to 1% every single week. Now, the reason that we're using a 0.5 to 1% range is this is going to be relative to your current body weight at the current time you are dieting at the moment. Now, there are some numbers out there that people tell you that can, you can lose one pound or one kilo per week, but that is only going to be relative if you're close to 100 kilo. Now, to make this process even easier, you can use a couple of apps which I found to be very helpful, which is Libra for Android and Happy Scale for iPhone. I'll leave the links for those apps in the description below. Now, even if you are weighing yourself daily and you're getting your weekly average, and if it's still not trending in the right direction, that's okay because we've got option number two, which is measuring yourself at least once per week. So every single week at the same day, at the same time, preferably in the morning, you're going to take your full body measurements. What this is going to include is your neck, shoulders, chest, upper waist, lower waist, hips, thigh, calf, and arm. Now, out of all of those measurements, the main measurements that we want to see changes in, at least on a weekly basis, are going to be your chest, upper waist, lower waist, and your hips. These are the areas where most people are going to store the most body fat. If you haven't lost any weight on your weekly averages for the last five weeks, you're doing everything right, except your measurements are still coming down on a weekly basis, a half a centimeter to a centimeter per week on your waist measurements, that is still perfect rate of weight loss. I wouldn't change a single thing about what you're currently doing. In fact, I would rather people be heavier and smaller at the same time because this is going to allow your metabolism to stay higher because it's highly correlated to how heavy you are. So if we really think about this logically, we really don't care about how much you weigh at the end of the day. It's not like you're walking around with a sign around your neck saying that you weigh 70 kilos or 150 kilos. And really at the end of the day, no one really cares. All we're trying to do is become physically a smaller, leaner, healthier person. And by taking your weekly measurements, that's guaranteeing that you are physically becoming smaller. And then with your weight, that's more of a compass and it's going to tell you whether or not you're generally heading in the right direction. So now you know how I measure myself and all my high-end paying clients to get the best possible results. Instead of chasing a specific weight loss number or target, in the next video, we're going to talk about your waist targets, how big they should be at their highest and lowest, and the reasons why. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.